ever, ever, like, literally his first Smash game. Like, he didn't even touch any other Smash game yeah. casually. And he's, like, one of the top players in SoCal now. So. so we got, right here, we got Biscuit versus Soul. Soul Staring, I like to call him Soul a lot. Does have a pretty good Richter. Uh, I, th I think what's really cool about Richter is that a lot of top players like Nitro and T3 really inspired all these Richter players to come out onto the playing field. But remember, Richter, that was like the strangest mix-up I've ever seen. Like the no-tech falling from the ground mix-up without any jump. But Richter needs to be careful because uh, I've seen it many times, especially Esam talking it out. If Pikachu starts getting the bear trains, he can start to have a little bit of trouble, but look at this soul already starting off with this huge lead. Yeah, man, 113 to 42. And this is like really hard if you are the opponent versus uh, Richter, because mm -hmm. then they can just fade back and continue to throw their projectiles while you out all day. The one benefit that Biscuit has is that he's playing Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Incredible mobility and has quick attack to close the range while adding damage. So I want to see more quick attack. It doesn't really seem like Biscuit is too comfortable. Maybe he doesn't know all of the angles that he can use. Um, but in general, I would say this is probably a, a winning matchup for Pikachu. Mm -hmm. needs, to, needs to be really careful. And look at that amazing parry. Did an empty hop knowing that the air dodge was going to come. So Soul needs to be really careful. He's at 155. A good area, but he just jumps right into that axe. So Biscuit being a stock down, he needs to chase this Richter down. And Soul knows exactly like that. He immediately runs away and steps into the camp. Thankfully, that Thunderbolt. Thunder, is it Thundershock or Thunderbolt is neutral? Special? Uh, neutral B? Yeah. Thunderbolt. Uh, uh, th or, yes. Uh, his projectile has canceled out the axe, which was really good yeah. for him. But remember, like we said earlier, Pikachu should be able to win this, but Soul doing a really good job setting up this huge wall, and every single move that Biscuit tries to commit, the axe... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, he's going in, look, 113 on this second stock, and he catches him out of the sky with the rising uppercut, man. That dagger just blowing him up off the top. But already three to one. Uh, the, the one thing is like Biscuit doesn't seem like he is too comfortable in his combos. Like he, he's playing the neutral fairly well, but when he does find his openings, he's not capitalizing. Such as that back air he landed, he could have confirmed into a grab. Right there he was holding shield, he decided to go into uh, into a dash attack instead of a grab. Jesus. Richter gives me like a heart attack every time you see his smash attack come out, and Bank was able to cancel it out. Soul doesn't tech, I just realized that. Really? So, yeah, he, yeah. he never teched at all. The Ebb Smash, one of the best in the game, I would argue, finally catches him out, but Biscuit. Yeah, Biscuit's, uh, I should say, Pikachu's Ebb Smash is definitely one of the best in the game. Lingering uh, hitbox. As lingering well. hitbox and very low end lag, so you can just like do a fadeaway Ebb Smash, go unpunished for it. Lower throw, is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is. Oh, uh -oh. he's alive. All right, so Biscuit knows how to DI. I That's like that. good. Yeah. See, he doesn't tech. You see that again? Soldier doesn't like to tech. I mean, you don't need to, right? Sometimes you just got to get an axe to the face, and you can't do a normal getup. Can't Never. do a normal getup. Never. Just Never. Don't do it. Never. <laughs> so, Biscuit, if you go back and watch this uh, set and listen to the commentary, just don't do it, man. Mm, don't do it. That that flame, you're going you're gonna to eat the forwards, man. Mm -hmm. But also, it is like... Like, you may know your combos and you may know all the tech it is, but when you go against a zoner, they can easily frustrate you and get yeah. in your head. So that's definitely what Soul is very good at, let me tell you right now. He just kind of gets in your head with all these aerials, with all these, like, projectiles and whatnot. And he's able to do so much, and hopefully he will change the pace. And actually, an incredibly big change of pace switching to Sonic. I actually smelled this uh, character pick from a mile away, just based off of how that first match went. Yeah. It, it, I, I feel like, I, I truly believe Biscuit knows how to play the game. He's just not confident in his like combos and confirms and, and things like that. Like we didn't see him abuse Pikachu yeah. at all. I mean, um, when you said like he doesn't know like the combos and stuff, I kind of like stared at you for a second because uh, Biscuit ran up and just did F smash on his shield, right? But he right. needs to get looked at. This is a huge different change of pace but that Biscuit desperately needs, especially in this matchup. But Soul will have a hard time getting away, but he does not seem to care with 96. The Axe catching him, and as well as that, and the M smash. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, catching Soul. the air dodge in towards, towards and Soul staring, just completely punishing him for it. Oh, dude, he's catching all these double jumps. I mean, he's throwing out the Axe, forcing Biscuit to jump over, and you're like, you're jumping over every time? Here's the Axe. Yep, and he does a neutral get up one more time. I'd be really careful. I'd be really careful, Biscuit, because one's going to find your what, your name on it. And here he comes. Let's trap once more. Oh, he, 
Yeah. Tried to read it. Grab, yeah. And also, Soul, uh, the Belmonts have a very good uh, get out of disadvantage option, which is their up out of shield, as you've seen many times them use over. Biscuit is just catching these, like, boomerangs every single time. Oh, man. You were talking about that? I, I mean, <laughs> hey, he's going to learn. He's going to learn, right? He's going to go back and watch this uh, set. He's going to learn. All right, I, didn't, I shouldn't get up like that. I mean, but, it's uh, also like that frustration that sets, and you're just like, wow, why can't I get off this ledge? And it, it just keeps happening more and more. And he finally does tech, does try to read the roll, but 49%. So, let me tell you right now, is only on his first stock, yeah. and Biscuit is catching every single projectile possible in this game. Yeah, he is. This is looking really tough for Biscuit. Um, there it is. The, <laughs> the flames into the forward smash. Catching the jump from the ledge. And uh, to be fair, I mean, it's not like doing a neutral getup is Bad. ever the, like, it's not like it's the wrong option every single time. If you t can time it, 